We're gonna review how to do an LVAD drywall dressing change. Some of the supplies that you'll need are masks, a drain sponge, sterile gloves, regular gloves, three four by four gauze bolts, chlorhexidine soap, normal saline, and tape. So the first thing you want to do is wash your hands or sanitize your hands. And you want to set up your equipment first. First thing you want to do is open your gauze bolts, all three of them. The gauze inside is sterile. So you want to be careful not to touch the gauze as you're opening the top. If there's any gauze that comes off that is attached to the top, please discard it along with the top. And to open these, you just want to open, start opening from the end that's already provided and peel it back and just go around the edges and do not touch the gauze on the inside. The gauze has to remain sterile on the inside. Next thing you wanna do is put approximately two tablespoons of chlorhexidine soap in your first bolt. And then you wanna take your normal saline and pour it in the first and second gauze bolt. Just enough to saturate the gauze. And just recap that and put it aside. Next thing you wanna do is open your drain sponge. And same thing, just be careful not to touch the gauze on the inside, it has to remain sterile. And I'm gonna re prepare my tape. I'm gonna create two pieces of tape that are a little bit wider than the four by four gauze and take that to the side of my table that does not have to be sterile. Next, I'm gonna put on my mask and put a mask on the vat patient. I'm gonna put on my regular gloves. And I'm gonna remove the current dressing that's on the patient. Being careful not to tug, tug on the dry line. Now that I have that dressing off, I'm also gonna take it out of the anchor so I can clean the drive line properly. Take off the regular gloves. And now I'm gonna put on the sterile gloves. I'll remove the sterile gloves from the package. my gauze bolts back just to make sure I don't contaminate those. I'm going to open up my sterile gloves. Open the top and bottom of the package. Go underneath the collar of the package. 
going to look at. I'm going to take my first glove, put my thumb on the inside with my fingers on top, turn my hand to the ceiling, and get my hand in the first glove. Then I'm going to take this hand that's now gloved, and I'm going to go underneath the cuff. This palm is going to face the ceiling. I'm going to fit this hand in the glove. And then I'm going to take, pinch the center of this and toss it out. Now we can touch the sterile gauze. So I'm going to press the soap, make sure it gets to the bottom pad. And Take my gauze and go around the drive line in a circular pattern in one direction. And I want to keep washing around it until I'm finished with all of the gauze. The last gauze that's in the pack, I'm going to use to clean the drive line. So, I'm going to cup it around the drive line and go all the way down the drive line as far as I can. I'm going to use the last gauze and do the same thing from the drive line exit site wipe all the way down. Next I'm going to rinse the area. I'm going to take my saline gauze and go ahead and rinse the soap off in a circular motion. Let's go ahead and rinse it again. this again. My last gauze in this pack I'm going to use to rinse whatever soap residue is left on the dry line. So I'll just gently glide it down to rinse. And another one. To rinse the dry wash. Being careful not to tug. With my dry gauze, I'm going to now dry off the dry line site. go in the same circular motion and then I'm going to take a gauze and pat the drive line dry next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my split drain sponge and place part of it underneath the drive line to protect the skin and then I'm going to take the remaining gauze that I left behind in the dry boat, put it right on top, and now I can take these sterile gloves off. I'm going to take my tape and tape down my new dressing, and I try to leave a little bit of tape around the gauze so there's a border or a window around it. Dress and change is done.